Well, we've now been through two days, not really two full days, of course, of the Steve Bannon criminal contempt trial. So if you're wondering how things are going for Steve Bannon, the answer is pretty friggin' bad. His lawyers have fumbled at every possible opportunity in just two days. And one of those days was spent solely on jury selection. <laughs> so yesterday, Tuesday, Bannon's lawyers go into court and they tell the judge, they file a motion. They say, Hey, we want a month. We want to postpone all this crap. You got to give us a month because you've destroyed all of our def defense strategies. Like we don't even know how to defend this dude anymore. So give us a month judge so we can regroup. And judge Carl Nichols said, <laughs> not going to happen guys. Mm -mm. Nope. You've known this was coming. You know, you've, you've had plenty of time with the motions. I've told you, you can't do this. You can't do that. That's the rules of the court. Like it or not, you got to live with it. And you've just kind of failed on every front. So I'm not going to give you another month. And then of course that sparked his lawyers to start whining to the judge, whining and saying, quote, Mr. Bannon is handcuffed and can't tell jurors what he believed. What he believed because he's handcuffed metaphorically. Of course, he's not actually handcuffed in the court. I'd love to see that, but you know, you don't actually do that in court most of the time, unless the person, you know, could become dangerous because obviously that actually could sway a jury, but that's neither here nor there. He's metaphorically handcuffed because he can't tell the jury jury what he believed. What, what did he believe? Because you've actually come at the judge with multiple different defenses, all of which are completely different. So if he believed all three of them, they would kind of be contradictory, which would mean that he would be lying to the court. So see, that's, that's kind of the third fumble that you guys did because you're clearly not smart enough to understand what you just said with that single statement. So what are the things that Steve Bannon may or may not have believed? Well, first and foremost, they tried to argue that, Hey, no, he has executive privilege because Trump did that. And the judge said, no, Trump didn't. And even if Trump did, Trump wouldn't have had the authority to do it. So it wouldn't stand anyway. So no, you can't use that. Bannon, of course, prior to the trial, even beginning had tried to make it seem like he was confused about whether or not he had to comply with the subpoenas. Maybe the lawyer had screwed it up and that's the lawyer that's now off the case because he might end up being called as a witness. <laughs> And then of course they can't come up there with the public authority defense saying that, Hey, Donald Trump's a public figure and authority, you know, and therefore we got to protect. I don't even know how that argument actually works. It's kind of similar to executive privilege, but it's not the same. But the judge also said, you can't do that either. But that's the thing is like, you can't believe all of those different things. So you can't sit there as a lawyer and tell the judge like, well, my guy can't even say what he believed right now. Okay, but you've already presented three conflicting things that your guy allegedly believed, which again, I kind of take that as lying to the court. Uh. So when I tell you that his lawyers have repeatedly fumbled in just two days, trust me, these lawyers are failing and they're failing hard. Steve Bannon, I know you've got money. You, you may want to consider hiring better legal counsel in the future because these yahoos that you have representing you are really bad. Although to be fair here, they don't have much to work with. They know they're fighting a losing battle. You know, on Steve Bannon's podcast on Monday, he's got a guest host uh, that, that's been on for him this week, but the guest host brings on a regular guest who happens to be an attorney who said that Bannon's going to be found guilty like that because there is no defense of it. Did you get the subpoena? Yes. Did you comply with it? No. Okay. Case closed. That's literally what that guest said on Steve Bannon's own podcast this past Monday. And the lawyers somehow have to try to defend that and you can't defend it because the question of yes or no, did you comply with the subpoena? No, we did not. Great. You're, you're in contempt. That's it. That's ball game. That is case closed game over. Thank you. And good night. And that's what these lawyers have to work with. So to be fair to them, I think it is a little bit of incompetence, but a lot 
of not being able to defend what is clearly indefensible. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.